What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we're going to be drawing Knuckles from Sonic to the film. So I'm in a landscape page. Use a pencil and eraser. Hit pause if I go too fast, sketch it lightly, and you can always do ink on top. Recommend using pencil first, right? So Sonic was the first video game I ever played. Do you believe that? Sonic the Hedgehog on the Sega Mega Drive would have been, when was I? So would have been about, I don't know, six or seven or something. Really young. Sega. Um, great game. Real nostalgic. So uh, let's go. Let's draw Knuckles, the man himself. So we're going to start with his like frowning kind of eyebrow, right? So his head's kind of turned away. So we can see one big eye and one small eye. So let's go. Center point to my page here. Up over to the right. And then we'll do this kind of tick. Sort of line that goes up this way. Right, like so. And his eye will come around in there, right? <clears throat> so this will like curve around down and into the corner there, like that. You can maybe thicken this up a little bit, just make it a bit darker. And because he's kind of hairy, you know, in the movie, it's different to the video game. You can add, like, some of his eyebrow, maybe. Just hairline going up that way. Maybe just some texture, sort of hair on it. So in there we have his iris. Long eye shape. Goes around like so. And his pupil inside there. It's on the left of his eye over here because he's looking to the left. And you just color that in. Leave a highlight, like a white highlight there if you want. Now you go over and do the other one. So he's frowning. Again, curves around like that. It could be a sketchy, hairy line if you wanted. You know, it can get kind of hairy, sort of up here maybe. You know, because he's got all this fur on him. And stuff like that. And then his eye will curve around, keep going. <clears throat> like so. And then bring it in. Like this. And it'll kind of go up into his tear duct somewhere, like up into here. And then we could have maybe like some more sort of frowning sort of areas in there. Then his iris. So we do a long curving line back there. Long curving line here. Down to his eyelid. And then long pupil line curving around there. You just kind of trace the outline line and then you color it dark. And again, you can leave a little highlight in the corner if you want. Like so. <clears throat> okay, so now we'll do the shape for his face. So it comes around just from his eye here, right? It's kind of hairy, so it comes around. It could be a sort of sketchy line if you want. Or it could be smooth, right? Starts there on that side, and then it'll go around this side here. Right, and it's going to like curve around his face all the way. Some of it, his knuckle might cross it when we draw his hand, but we'll draw it in now and we can erase it afterwards. And then the top of it will just go like up around here, down around his eye. His nose sticks out this way, curves around. Like that, kind of like a letter C or something. And then he has his nostril, comes in here, and then back around to there. Again, you can color this gray or black and leave a sort of a highlight on the tip, maybe like here, right?
okay? And then his mouth, so he's smiling, so it's kind of like smile line there, just kind of underneath the eye, the side of the eye. <clears throat> and then it's gonna go this way, curve down and then back up. It's about there. And you want it to be like underneath the edge of the eye there, just about, just where it ends. Give you like a thicker end there. And again, if you want, like sometimes he can have, you know, like some fur. That's optional though, of course, because he's like, he's hairy in the movie. <clears throat> so, side of the face, Then. So we'll go like out from the side here, right? So we'll go like out from here. Up around to there, right? And this will go around again. And this can start to get a hairy line, right? Going this way. And maybe some like frown lines and stuff here. Some light sort of frown lines. And some. around his eye like that so this will join one of his hairs that comes down it goes behind his fist right <clears throat> but we'll draw we'll draw it in just so we can see where it goes down there right and then the other side of this is kind of here so it'll be like a hairy line like that kind of it doesn't go down the whole way because his hand is covering it and he can have these sort of texture lines that go down. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do the rest of his head. So it's just like hairy line that goes around. And it joins the next patch of hair that goes down this way. Or like one of his dreadlocks and then you'll have so like some texture that goes around this way and some that goes around here just these hairlines are kind of just stick out from his head and then some will go down here as well just to make him look more hairy rather than cartoony more kind of realistic, I guess. Right, so we'll we'll do this fist that's coming right up close to his chin, right? So it goes bumping around here, right? Like that. Touches his chin there. Might come across it. And then we have one spike. Sticks up here and down. The next one sticks up here and down, <clears throat> two of them. And then we close off the end, close off the end, and then add like a stitching line that comes down there and here as well. Top of his fist, then it just joins together like here. So his fist comes down that way and then around side down and in and then it kind of like bumps out here around there and down like so real big and it curves around here and it goes back in like so and then his thumb kind of sticks out here so like joins this area so it goes like all the way to there and then his thumb goes around to like there and then there's like some fold lines some creases on the glove there and like the side of his thumb line here and this will have some like creases there as well 
and then there's like some stitching on top of the glove. <clears throat> So, and then like he can put, you know, he, he uses his gloves a lot. So you can put like some um, dart marks or like as if he's been punching or scratches and things like this. So his elbow kind of comes out from his shoulder, which is around here. So we'll go like hairy line. And then down into his glove there. And then we can't see. So the back of his body maybe comes down like here somewhere. And then the front of his body is like here. Some of his neck maybe goes back that way. And then we have another one of his hair like dreadlock type things coming down this way. So he's in behind his glove somewhere here. And then his body will come down this way. Like so. And then we have another glove, so his hand, or is that his leg? What am I looking at here? I think his leg kind of goes that way. And then his arm is like here. And it goes out into his glove there. And we'll put some texture on this dreadlock as well. <coughs> Doop. And... Glove starts here. We can only see kind of half of this glove. So we got like another section going this way. Right, and then, so his thumb goes up, around, like so. And then the, the glove, it touches his glove sort of here. And you've got like some stitching lines and stuff. And then the big round part of the glove is here. And then there's some stitching here as well. And coming around like so. Um, can't see. Well, I'll have to finish it. I can't see it in the picture, but we'll go out. I'll make it up. <laughs> Don't like making things up, but we'll make this up. So this goes there, and then so there should be one. I'm gonna stick it up this way. That look right? What do you think? I'm doing this for my head now because I can't actually see the other knuckle. And then this curves around down to there. <clears throat> and then his glove will go off this way down somewhere to the other knuckle, which should be beside it. It's down there somewhere. And then we have scratches. And things on his glove and dirt and things. Just thicken up some of my edge lines. Thickening up the edge lines adds an extra line weight to the picture and just makes it more visually interesting, basically. That's what this is. So you're just thickening up, makes things stand out, makes your texture lines on the inside smaller. It's just more visually pleasing for the person looking at it, basically. And it tidies some things up as well. Useful trick when you're doing ink drawings 
or like just line drawings like this. Okay, but I think that'll have to do, guys. That's how to draw Knuckles from the Sonic 2 movie. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See y'all in the next one. Bye.